Here we're going to show how to use the linked viewer for a couple panels. So I've loaded up the web page. I'm going to go to a browser. And I have the data folder set up. So I'm going to select the image I want and maybe some sort of overlay. And we're going to see a papaya widget pop up here. We can scroll through this, do whatever we want. Similarly, we can do the same thing. Again, I'm going to put the image on there. And then the overlay. These are two different little sessions. So we should see now that the viewers are synced and we should be able to see differences in the overlays. Um, we can change settings around here with the viewer preferences, um, whether we can change anything like we normally would in Papaya. Um, we could also have things, uh, have options in the app where we don't have through orthogonal views. We could actually have just side-by-side -side views of the slices and scroll through. So I'm using the scroller here. But it's nice having the three-dimensional view to see where you're at. And if we scroll through things like this, we should also see at the bottom, we see it's like 8.998. This is, uh, it's not really 8.998, it's actually 9. There's due to some interpolation artifact in Papaya that shows that there. But we do see um, some slight differences. So like, for example, let me see if I can go to this voxel. So that voxel is labeled 2 in this parcellation, and it's labeled 5. So if you click and hold, you'll actually see it in both of them. And if you click and then move around with your um, keys rather than the actual mouse, you will see the values in each one of these. But you will see that disappear if you scroll away from them. I think that's just a byproduct of the papaya widget. All right.